quick follow up. You interviewed yes. Clara one on one before all of yes, this. Yes, and uh, like be remarkable woman. before she even went to Tokyo. And I got a tip from somebody who lived in the neighborhood. They were like, there are signs everywhere for this girl. You have to come out, see who she is. And now look at her. Bronze medal. Yeah. Big shot. Congratulations. You can see that on the 207 section of our website, by the way. Uh, Keith is here with the forecast. Uh, the beat goes on, as we say. You guys keep talking. There's not a whole lot to talk about. <laughs> I mean, we'll Sunny. do it. Yeah. We'll do it, but it's going to be meandering. Um, th this weather has been amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm the hype man for September, mm -hmm. even by that standard. Mm -hmm. We're just, yeah. this is a good one even than you by, thought. Yeah. yeah. Good. By, and I'm here. What am I doing here? I don't know. It's uh, 73. I know. What are you still doing here? Thing. It's uh, it's 100% because my kid's in school now. I just, uh, oh. Otherwise, like I'd you be, have to pay your bills, you mean? Uh, well, that's child. But I'd be very, well, I have vacation time. They let me sometimes. <laughs> 73. Not like gotten their amounts of vacation time, but some. 69 in Bangor today. Average high is 74. So these days coming up, especially Thursday and Friday, will be actually significantly above average, even though it might not hit you that way, being around 80 or so. We had some clouds today, not many though, especially along the coastline. Most of the day was completely sunny. A couple of showers to our west right now. This will be the last time until probably Friday afternoon that I'll show you anything on the radar here. And there's a couple of sprinkles that are mostly dying out right as they hit the New Hampshire border. So we'll see if a few of those can make their way into southern Maine this evening. I don't think there's going to be a lot of activity, though, and most of us will launch the rest of the week uh, into a dry pattern. You can see this model is overdoing those showers because it has some right here and there are none back here. So the idea I think is fair that there could be an isolated sprinkle over southern Maine tonight, but most of us will be dry. Temperatures into the 50s, 40s into the mountains. Tomorrow is a mixture of sun and clouds. We'll call it partly cloudy because I think that there will be some cloud cover, especially in the mountains in northern Maine, more sun along the coast, about 70 to 75 there for a high temperature. We do it again. On Wednesday, more sun temperatures in the mid 70s. We start in the 40s, even a couple of 30s. Wednesday morning, it will be definitely crisp, but nice and bright through the afternoon on Wednesday. And Thursday, upper 70s to near 80 degrees, depending on your uh, location here, we should be able to get to a couple of 80s, especially over southern Maine. So a little trough coming through tonight. That's that very small chance of a shower, which honestly, I wouldn't even be talking about if we had another chance of a shower, but we really don't, not until Friday. High pressure builds in in between Wednesday, Thursday, first half of Friday. Front comes through Friday afternoon, scattered showers. It's not a lock that you leave and catch a shower on Friday when this front comes through. And if you don't, high pressure comes back in for the weekend. We keep going. So running the European computer model through the week gives us a lot of zeros, and this is not this Wednesday, next Wednesday, giving zeros to a lot of the state as far as rain goes. So we're really ripping off a big stretch here thanks to the strong ridge of high pressure. This right here, by the way, this little bubble that comes in to Thursday is Francine, which has just been upgraded projection wise to a cat two hurricane that will make landfall in Louisiana, eastern Texas. Looks like Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night. So you'll probably hear that in the national news. It will not affect us, but um, could be a bad situation down there that you may hear about. Cruising here, that chance for a shower on Friday. Again, not everybody. We're in the low 80s. Dew points are up a little bit during that time period too. Weekend looks good, partly cloudy on Saturday. If that's not nice enough for you, we'll do mostly sunny on Sunday into the mid 70s. And again, into mid next week, this ridge carries us with dry weather. Yeah, the biggest change from this week is a little bit of cloud cover. Right. Otherwise, we're good. But I mean, right. yeah, it's great. Looks good. Keith, thanks.